Cheers and salutations. Welcome, everyone, to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. It helps us build up our channel. And my goodness, are we growing? And it's because of all of you hip, cool cats. But now, let's talk about the future. What lies in store for the future for Chicago Reacts? Well, duh, keep on making great content for all of you. But also, it's one of the videos that we're going to be focusing on the P90, Hollywood's gun of the future by none other than Brandon Herrera. Shout out to him. Please be sure to support his content. And yes, the original uh, video is in the description box below. You'll be, be there to click that link. I did that without almost stuttering. So there you go. Uh, and as I always say on this channel, to all the videos that we react to, please support the original content creators because that's what hip cool cats do. Come on. It's Chicago way. Come on. For, for the Chicago Reacts crew, support the original content creators because a lot of time and efforts made into making these awesome videos for us all to enjoy. So, since I'm in charge of the ones and twos, let's get ready to see this awesome video from Brandon Herrera, the P90, Hollywood's gun of the future. And since I'm in charge of the ones and twos, let's get ready to pull this video up and get ready to play it in a three, a two, a one be talking about today is one that I'm sure all of you will recognize, whether it's from its use in the Secret Service, protect, protecting those who make the decisions about America and her interests, or maybe you know it from Call of Duty because it's in like in all of them, or maybe you're just a Stargate nerd. Either way, you're going to enjoy the FN P90. I forgot that that was in Stargate. That was a great show. That was really an awesome show. I remember that. Late 90s, early 2000s, Stargate. Come on. I mean, look, I even paused at a perfect time of Brandon inspiring the, uh, or looking at the P90 with fatherly love. So there you go. All right. All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Hey, what is your favorite Stargate? Do you like the movie? Are you a fan of the TV show? Do you like Stargate Atlantis? Type, type, type your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below. And as always, as always. Uh, <laughs> let's respect each other's opinions and thoughts. Let's move on to the video. AKA the FNP Nizzle. Bo Shizzle. Mike Nizzle. Right. Comment here, we saw his cheeks jiggle. So there you go. His face cheeks, not his rear cheeks. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Get your mind out the gutter. All right. Whether you like the P90 or not, you have to admit, it's kind of dope. It is. What's going on, guys? I really don't want to be here. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt, it's because uh, I, uh, I filmed this all the other day, but turns out we lost all of our audio for that. So I'm doing it for the second time. Oh, no! It'll be much better rehearsed. I actually literally just got back uh, from Nashville, hanging out with some of the Nashville Metro PD guys who were most recently famous for, well, you know, folding a mass shooter like a lawn chair. Anyhow, don't let that distract you from the fact that we are here to talk about the P90. So the P90 is a five point- Side note, Brandon Herrera on the off chance that you see this video. Very sorry that um, you guys lost all that audio for your first video. So, you know, uh, it has happened to the crew here at Chicago Reacts maybe once or twice. But, you know, it's thankfully we were able to catch it before we upload anything else. But there you go. It's it has happened. One time I was reacting to the film Gladiator, and then the power went out, and and we lost, we lost a lot of hours of content. Ah, uh, it was very painful. <laughs> Point seven by twenty eight millimeter submachine gun slash PDW. We'll talk about why it was developed a little bit later. But the neat part about it is because of the design, it's you know of course technically a bullpup. You can fit a decent amount of barrel and a lot of ammo in a pretty compact little package. And it's still beloved, which is great news for the rest of you with little packages. Now, if you've never seen the ah. 5.7, it's actually kind of cool. 
So this right here is the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. And it's kind of like a pistol round, but it's it's really just kind of like a, a small rifle round. If you notice the taper, it kind of looks like a smaller 5.56. Not quite, it's just stubby and fat and straight wall, just kind of like a nine millimeter or 45. It's because one of the whole points of the 5.7 is to be able to store a lot of ammo while also having something that's small and fast and can penetrate armor. And yes, the 5.7 round can penetrate light armor uh, with the right ammo. It's not gonna be cruising through level three steel plates or anything, but most soft body armor uh, is able to be punched by a 5.7 if you've got the right ammo, which is pretty based. If you use awesome. this gun and the one-man army perk as the meta back in Call of Duty, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That was my generation. A lot of the Zoomers probably don't even remember that. So you and me, we gotta stick together. Gen Z, you've missed out on a lot of great things. ECW, dial-up phones, dial-up internet. That's the sound of terror. Hell, you missed out on the killer bee nightmare that everyone was afraid of. You missed out on Crystal Pepsi. Virtual Game Boy, that was a thing. Yeah, it was it was like this thing where you put on your face and you know, the screen was red. It had to have done retinal damage to to a lot of people, but there was virtual Game Boy. That 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 was a thing. Um Space Jam. That that was an awesome film. I'm talking about the original one. Uh <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm going off on a tangent here. Gen Z, you just missed out on some pretty awesome stuff. Oh, Blockbuster. That was a thing too. Pretty soon these kids won't even know what 1v1 me on Rust means. But speaking of a lot of ammo, these 5.7 magazines are capable of holding 50 rounds when fully loaded. Except for ours, of course. Our magazines are pinned at 29 rounds to be perfectly YouTube compliant. That YouTube is because I am a good little cuck boy and I always listen to what my overlords at YouTube say all the time. Never break any rules around here. Keep following orders. Follow orders. Can I have some fucking money now? Anyhow, let's go ahead and go over the manual of arms for the P90. So the magazine goes in a little funky. So you see, you've got this little uh, square hole here. The magazine slips through that, goes down here, and inserts here. Now to release the magazine, we've got these two little spring-loaded tabs here. We just pull both of these back at the same time, and the magazine lifts out. As you can see, the place where the magazine sits is this little circular bit, and that is where the action of the weapon actually is. Now, if you're wondering why that's circular, the answer is something kind of cool. So if you notice on my uh, totally fake magazine and not one that's actually loaded with 50 rounds, so you can see through the translucent mag here, the rounds are stacked sideways, but at the very top, it's pointed straight. Obviously, it's pointed that direction so it can feed into the chamber. And how it accomplishes this is it's got a little turntable here. Well, well, well. How the, the turntables turn have, have turned. This round behind it was kind of staggered like this. And the spring pressure pushes it along the track, which- That is awesome. Straight. That, that is awesome. complicated and like it might lead to uh, a lot of malfunctions. Uh, you'd be right, it does sound that way. But in my experience, it actually works fairly well. Now moving along to the charging handle, it's uh, these two things that ride in this track here. It is ambidextrous, so if you are right-handed, you're going to be using your left hand. And if you are wrong-handed, you're gonna be using your right hand. Our selector Ooh. is a little weird. It's this uh, little wheel here at the bottom. So we are all the way counterclockwise, we are on safe. And then in the middle, we have semi-auto and keep moving it clockwise. We have more semi-auto. Well, what's neat about the full semi-auto function on this gun is it's not just auto. It has what's called a progressive trigger. So a neat feature hmm, of the P90 is that it features what's called a progressive trigger. So if you see here, I have the gun on safe. Obviously that's a no shoot. Yep. I can move it over to semi and that's a single click. So that is a single, you know, semi-automatic round. So one gotcha. round, full trigger. Switch it over to A, which means more semi-automatic. And what happens is you can pull the trigger just a little bit and okay. hold it down. My finger is still on the trigger. I am still holding that down. In the fully semi-automatic mode, finger's still on the trigger, but if I pull just a little bit more, then the rest start coming out. And so it's it's really what? kind of an interesting feature. So interesting. if you're in full auto, you can still just decide to only crank yeah. off one round. Yeah. Yeah. 
There you go. And then you can go full auto if you want. Awesome. Which, who the fuck wouldn't want to? As far as what we're doing for sights today, uh, this rail is kind of a little high, so we wanted something pretty small. So I just whipped out this uh, old primary arms, advanced micro dot. Simple, but it does the job. On top of that, if we wanted to use backup irons, don't worry, the P90 has you covered. Thrice over. There's very literally three separate iron sights on this gun, which is kind of whack. There's a center hole here that you can just kind of aim down, and that hits this front sight post right here in the front. So it's okay. this little hollow channel here through the pick rail. Pretty cool. It's kind of whack. And then on either side, on our left side and right side, we have these little notches, which also line up with a pistol style front sight on both sides. So you can aim down the what left. What the heck? You can aim down on the right, depending on which is more comfortable for you. Spoiler alert, neither one of them is super comfy, but it's there just in case you needed it. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about the actual design of the P90. All right. This thing, believe it or not, was actually made for a reason. And it wasn't just so you could akimbo it in Modern Warfare 2. But while we're talking about gun design, that sort of stuff interests you and you'd like to get your start in gunsmithing or weapons technology, I recommend checking out SDI. The Sonoran Desert Institute is the main sponsor of the channel, so we want to give them some love. If you're interested, check them out in the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Also like to give a quick thank you to USCCA, or the United States Concealed Carry Association. Longtime sponsor of the channel, and they're helping us out with the cost of the P90. USCCA is there to give you the tools, training, and if need be, the legal assistance you need to feel comfortable carrying a concealed weapon every day, which I recommend you do. As me and Cody say, it's like clapping bad guy insurance. It's basically an extra safeguard so that if you have to defend yourself, the court doesn't then ruin your life. So I'd recommend checking them right. out in the links in the description and in the pinned comment as well. Now back to the P-Nizzle. Stop trying to make happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it will happen. It will happen. It's going to happen. In fact, dare I say it in the, in the comment section below, 10 out of 10, we want the P-Nizzle to happen. That did not sound right, but type it in the comment section below anyways. If more of us start saying it, it will manifest, uh, manifest, it will manifest itself into reality. You just got to believe, folks. You just got to believe. Peanuts is so happening. Peanuts. So yes, yes, it is. There you go. And of course, the FN57 pistol were all developed by FN. Uh, as part of a submission for NATO trials. You see, NATO basically had put out a contract saying that they were looking for a brand new PDW with a you know small, fast, lightly armor penetrating round, uh, and they wanted uh, that. They wanted a, basically they wanted a PDW in that, and they wanted a pistol to go along with it, chambered in the same round. And I kind of get the premise behind that. You know, have your secondary and your primary using the same ammunition. You know, it makes sense, kind of. So the P90 and 5.7 were mm -hmm. FN's offering as far as that trial goes. HK came along with their own offering. You may have heard of it. Uh, the legendary MP7, along with their 4.6 millimeter round. For a handgun, they also had the, uh, I believe it was the UCP, like Universal Combat Pistol. Kind of a weird little gun. Uh, never really made it past the prototyping phase. The UCP isn't real. It can't hurt you. No. It's not in your walls. So anyhow, for these trials, FN had the P90. Uh, HK had the MP7. Neither one won the contract, fun fact. But despite that, the P90 did get to see a good bit of use, whether it was with secret services, uh, some limited military use with uh, certain team guys and stuff like that, and also um, law enforcement use throughout Europe. And also FN, let's be honest, probably made their prototyping money off the P90 back in just the amount of licensed copies of this thing for Airsoft alone. ADD break. So frangible is made to dump energy as fast as possible and disintegrate the bullet. But what does that do inside of a White Claw can? Will it penetrate? Will it explode? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. 7 millimeter frange versus a raspberry White Claw. Ooh, delicious. In three, two, one. <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty good little energy yeah. uh, distribution there. Glorious. I mean, that's that's not a very big round. And it cut the damn can in half. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that round did just kind of explode. I'm not even sure if there's really an exit there. I think the round just disintegrated. That's kind of neat. That's of course, that was in awesome. semi. Oh, well, let's go full semi. Good exactly. For the goose is good for the gander in three, two, one. I have to acknowledge the can that I just paused perfectly, perfectly in midair. Wow! 
I I I that I wasn't gonna acknowledge that, but I just saw it. The the one the one can that was slightly bleeding out like an anime character in one of those violent anime, you know, shows where the character gets cut and they start bleeding as though they're like a, a faucet. Clearly a lot of heart pressure. So there you go. But that is awesome. I caught that can in midair. Ten out of ten. Life changing video. Couldn't resist. I love that smell. This one tried to escape. That wasn't a good idea. This one got knocked over and it was shot from the bottom. So that was our entrance. And that was our exit after expanding for all of, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. Then of course we got the rest of these that just got absolutely blown to shit. It's crazy because this is actually jacketed frange. So if you look inside, the bullet exploded. The bullet did not exit. And we actually have captured pieces cool. of that 5.7 jacket That's inside awesome. the can. It's pretty cool. I actually would have thought that that would have exited because uh, the white claw cans are not that big, but apparently it's just a full on energy dump. The bullet just explodes the minute it hits something solid. Just remember what kind of bullet you're using matters. Everybody's always saying, oh, 5.7, it'll punch body armor. Yes, it can pierce some soft body armor, depending on what kind of ammo you're using with it. Spicy boys, absolutely. Hollow point and frange, no, eh, not really. Now for the breakdown. Let's break Beautiful. this bitch apart and see how it actually works. Take our magazine out. Of course, again, to show clear, gun is empty. So you see now that I've removed the magazine, I now have access to this big button. And what do we do with big buttons? Push them. Well, we press them. Not for real. Press the button and the entire front half of the gun just kind of slides off here. So now we have our upper and our lower. So here in the upper, we have our spring-loaded charging handles. You see they're kind of linked here, just a piece of bent sheet metal, okay. nice and simple. We have our optic rail and we have our barrel. Really not a whole lot to this one. Worth pointing out, this is also a PS90, technically. This was the civilian legal version before we converted it and uh, put the shorter barrel in it because Long barrel P90s just make my PP soft. Yeah, the upper is <laughs> The lower is basically just a plastic clamshell. Okay. Let's go ahead and tilt this forward and grab our bolt. Got a dual recoil spring assembly here. Got our spring-loaded firing pin there in the rear. And of course, our bolt face here. We also have a really cool anti-bolt balance mechanism here, which is really kind of neat. That's basically so that when the bolt goes into battery, it doesn't smack it and bounce back a little bit because, you know, this thing really doesn't have any lockup. So you kind of want it to stay in battery. That's a really great thing. Is it necessary? I don't know, but it is cool. Story of my life. Anyhow, we're going to put this bolt back in. And real quick, in case I hadn't pointed it out before, P90 ejects from the bottom, so that's kind of neat. It may not be cool to your battle buddy who's crouching down beside you, or possibly a dwarf. Anyhow, to reassemble, and let's face it, folks, be sure to protect yourself because whenever you're firing rounds down range and a casing does get inside your neck and starts burning you, don't start to scream and you just got to take the pain. They suck. The burns do suck. I've had to deal with it for quite some time. Uh, geez, I've had a few stories and uh, yeah, it's not, not, not a lot of fun. It's not cash money. That's pretty easy. Just put the upper back on. Depress our button and locks back in. And our P90s back together. Put our magazine back in, and you are ready to get destroyed in CSGO. Next there up, you go. a little bit of a treat for you guys. The guys at Black Tip Tactical Supply went ahead and hooked us up with some of these neat little blue tip sparky boys. Ooh. Not sure if I'm allowed to say what these actually are, but uh, I know we're going to shoot them with this steel and it's going to look really cool. No self snitching. Come on, come on. Listen, Brandon. You're doing 10 out of 10 great stuff, man. But listen to a Chicagoan. Don't self-snitch on yourself, okay? Not on the YouTubes. Whatever you do, just, 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 just say, hey, it's a magic bullet. That's it. Don't don't say what it's supposed to be called or anything. Just, hey, I found a magic bullet. That's all you got to say. That's that. I don't like the Fiocchi we've been using all day. Uh, this is not frangible, so we are going to want some iPro for this, being this close to the steel. Either way, this should look really fucking cool. All right, doing let's go. one round first. All right, that's kind of cool. Glorious. Flame on in three, two, one. 
<laughs> I hope that looked cool. It does. It does. 10 out of 10. Awesome. 10 out of 10 would aim at the gas tank with that. Well, guys, if you're a P90 fanboy, I hope this video tickled your pickle. Uh, otherwise, I hope you at least maybe learned something in this video that maybe you didn't mm -hmm. know before. And if not, at least hopefully it was entertaining. I like doing range videos like done this. Deal. I like showing off stuff in the collection that we haven't really brought out and done videos on before. We've got plenty more, so if you want to see stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any guns that you'd like to see videos on, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Maybe I've got one, maybe we've already done the video, or maybe it's something I want to pick up and show you guys later. If you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and click the links down in the description, the pinned comment, and check out our sweet ass merch over at Bunker Branding. And with that, I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. And as always, Glorious. I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Okay, so before I play the rest of the video, here's the thing. If I ever had a chance to uh, ever fly on down to Brandon Herrera's range, I would like to fire the P90 as well as that. Um, I'm, I, I don't remember the name of it now, but the um, 50 cal that was like a one shot. That was like a pistol. I like to fire that one. And... Um, yeah, why not? Since he's the AK-47 man, why not an AK-47? Because, hey, why not? Why not? My obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put his eyes to the top But I can't let you can stop your stop your stop your stop your stop your stop your Well, guys, if you're a P90 fanboy, I hope this video tickled your pickle. Or <laughs> <laughs> one, this is... I figured he had to laugh. He had to have. Ian McCall, Forgotten Weapons. Uh, today we have a weapon that is so rare that uh, it, it doesn't exist. It was never made. That's all in your imagination. Is that your Kermit the Frog impression or Obama impression? Because let's tell you, let, me, let me tell you something, Brandon. It's not like this. <clears throat> hey, there's a Barack Obama. That pistol, it doesn't exist. It's all in your imagination. Unless that's somebody else he's trying to impersonate. So there you go. Uh, nonetheless, folks, uh, great video, 10 out of 10, the P90, Hollywood's gun of the future. What are your thoughts on it? If, uh, we got some, uh, modern warfare video game enthusiasts, was that your weapon of go-to? Was that your weapon of choice? Was that your sword that you took into battle? Type, type, type your stories in the comment section below. Regale us of tales of victories and defeats. But, uh, that looked like a fun weapon to fire, and yes... I, I would I would like to fire that weapon. So there you go. If if that's ever done, if, if I ever get a chance to fly over Brand Herrera's range, shoot some shoot some round down range. P ninety would, would would be one of them. So there you go. Uh, as always, folks, please support the original content creators because it's the right thing to do. A lot of time and effort is made into making these videos. And as Brandon said earlier, the original video he did, they lost the audio. So look, time and effort is made into making these videos. So. I ask all of you to please support the original content creators. Be sure to give them a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support their work because it's the right thing to do. And be sure to give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe too because, you know, hey, all of you are helping us build this channel. What, what are your thoughts on the P90? Tell us your thoughts. Let's respect each other's opinions. I'm Kit. I'm up out of here. Peace. Take care. Keep on winning and keep your heads on a swivel, folks. <laughs>